Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how to get Windows 10 installed on your PC or laptop or any other device that supports Windows 10. We're going to go through a step-by-step -step process and I'm going to explain each step in detail. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. This will help me grow the channel and bring you more helpful and interesting videos. Also click that notification bell so you don't miss any other videos. First of all, we're going to have to get Windows. If you haven't got one yet, you can go to the web browser and go to the Microsoft website. Then you have to choose Windows. And then from this uh, Windows bookmark, you can choose either home version or pro version. I would probably stick with the pro version. It has more features than home version, but if you don't really have to do too much work on it, just go browser and do some office work, you can definitely use the home version. So click on that. And then all you have to do is just get the download and choose a USB version because then you can install it basically on any device that has a USB port and this includes your laptop if you don't have the um, optical drive or even if your desktop doesn't have optical drive you can still install it from USB so let's just choose USB and let's go Once you get Windows downloaded you can use this uh, beautiful little program called Rufus and it's absolutely free all you have to do is just download it so you go to the rufus website and scroll down you can either choose the portable version or you can choose the regular version let's just go with the portable one so open it up okay so once we got it all opened up here you have this little uh, menu here so it automatically chooses your USB drive where you want to get your Windows burned to. You can also choose different ones if you have few USB drives. So you can just remember when you're going to record or burn Windows on your USB drive, it's going to delete all the files. So make sure you don't have any important files on your USB drive. So from there you have to go, so you just choose the USB drive. then. In the boot section here, you can choose a disk ISO image. This is the one we got downloaded. We are downloaded the ISO image, so you gotta choose that. Then it's your partition shim, which is, uh, it depends if you have a GPT or MBR. On the older systems, if you already have Windows installed on your computer, and if it all it's an older computer, let's say about uh, about eight years or something like that, 10 years old, it's probably going to have MBR. If you have something like newer one, like five years old, it's probably going to have a GPT instead of MBR. All right, so let's choose our ISO file where we saved it. So you just got to find the, your file, click on it, and then it's going to show the boot selection so now it actually choose the file that you have there so you don't really have to even change the setting as i said in previous just a few seconds ago uh, so it has all the information here it's a standard windows installation and it automatically changed it to gpt uh, uefi which is a uh, um, most common one for the gpt uh, that's the type of bias that you have and that's a newer one there's only one selection so you don't have to worry about anything else here and basically this is this is going to be your format so this is how your usb is going to be called when you uh, burn it but uh, you can change it whatever you like you can put let's say windows 10 that's it so you can change that then this is your file system so it's going to be as large f fat 32 by default you can also choose ntfs but i would just st stick with the large fat 32 because that's more common for uh, usb drives mm -hmm. and then you, all you have to do is when it's ready just 
you just gotta click start and it's gonna ask you it's gonna warn you again make sure you don't have any important files on your USB drive because they're not gonna be recoverable or even if they're gonna be recoverable it's gonna be really hard to get them so make sure you don't have anything and let's click OK once it's finished downloading Windows on the USB stick you can close the program and restart the computer at the beginning of the computer startup, just press F8 to enter the boot menu mode. So now you can see here there is uh, your Windows, um, existing Windows drive, as well as your USB Windows. So all you have to do is just press the USB and it's going to start loading up. So now you can see there is a, it's called the Windows installation menu. And as you can see here, there is a, like, you probably have only one language, but if you have a few languages, you can choose whatever language you like. So let's press English, install language English, time and currency format is English, keyboard is US. You can choose other keyboards if you like. We'll just stick with the US and then click next. And then all you have to do is just press uh, install now. If you just want to do a re repair on your Windows, you can do that by clicking on the repair your computer. But we are gonna uh, we're gonna install the actual fresh Windows on this uh, SSD. So we're just gonna go with install fresh copy. On this um, particular Windows, we have a few different versions you can actually try. So we'll try this one here. Then click next. So then you get a click accept license terms next. And then here you can choose either to update Windows and keep the files and settings and applications. Or you can actually do a custom install Windows only for advanced. Advanced but uh, it's actually not not that advanced like you just basically install in a fresh windows on your ssd and we're gonna go with that it's gonna delete all the files of your previous windows so make sure you guys before you do that you uh, copy all the files from my documents my images my music or if you have anything on your desktop that will all be deleted so make sure you copy all that before you try a new installation so right now we have, you can see all the partitions that I got. I have a, a SSD, a regular SATA SSD. I have a, a hard drive HDD. I also have, uh, there's some system partitions as well. We don't really need them. And then there is uh, your main one that we're gonna try to install on is a M2 SSD drive. So you, as you can see, we can install it on this one. I, I uh, allocated 200 gigabyte for that. So that should be pretty good. And make sure you click on that. And then after that, you can just click next. If you want to format it, you can tr do that. But I'm pretty sure it will, it will just uh, format it fresh as well. So it will delete all the files. Let's just go that. See, it says if the partition you're choosing contains files from a previous Windows installation, these files and folders will be moved to a folder named Windows Alt. So basically, this will allow you to actually save the files that you have in your, like I said, in those um, my my documents, my uh, pictures, my music. But you know, sometimes it may still be lost. So I don't really want to trust that. So you still want to move all the files back to your. Uh, uh, somewhere else on, the, on another drive. So let's just go with that. Go click OK. If you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any other videos. It will also help me grow the channel so I can bring you more helpful and better videos. I appreciate it very much.
All right, so now we can start configuring our windows and this is going to be our first uh, configuration and you can also change lots of these settings in uh, once you get it all set up you can still come and change it over later so here you can choose the country that uh, your computer is in and it's gonna help um, Windows identify more up-to-date information for your country so if you're using like if you're watching news or if you're doing uh, if you have an, like a weather forecast in this case it's gonna know which information to give you so we're gonna choose Canada Press yes you can choose any other country it doesn't matter so here you can uh, choose the keyboard layout US keyboard is fine it's actually most common one for English you can also add a second keyboard. Uh, in this case, you can add up. You can add it later. That you don't have to add it right now. I would just prefer using it as a US, and then you don't have to worry about switching between keyboards. So let's just go skip this for now. Okay. So in this step, when it asks you to sign in with Microsoft, if you don't have an account with Microsoft, um, you don't have to set one up. You can still keep installing Windows and configuring, you have to press this domain join, join instead and then you can just put your username and this will actually eliminate the need of setting up a Microsoft account if you don't want to. And then we'll go press next and I strongly recommend setting up the password for the first time. You don't have to, you can delete it afterwards but it's really necessary to get your password set up for the first time. Uh, this will allow you to uh, keep your account safe and as well when you need to first start the window sometimes it's gonna ask you to enter your password and if you haven't set one up yet you're gonna be in trouble because sometimes it asks you for the password that you haven't set up and it's gonna be confusing and you might have to reinstall Windows after that. It's kind of sounds strange, but that's happened to me before. So set one up and then you don't have to worry about it. You can still delete it. You can also check out one, one of my videos. I'm going to show you how to delete the password at the startup. So it doesn't ask you to do that every time you log in. It's going to save you time. Then next step, you can uh, choose security questions to your account. You can use one of the three security questions so you get to choose one of the three and then after that you're gonna go to the next step after you go through all these uh, three security questions you can use your face to sign in that's a new feature from Microsoft I would rather prefer to skip it for now it's a little bit too new I think and I don't know if it's gonna really work and if you don't want to have your face saved on the computer for any reasons, you can skip it. Then you can also choose to do more with activity with your um, windows. For me, I'm just going to go ahead and say no to this. Now it's offering you whether you want to use Cortana, your voice assistant. I would rather say no, I've never used it before in my computer and I would just skip it for now. You can also use your voice to do more commands with Cortana, but I'm just going to skip it for now. Then you can also choose to let Microsoft and other apps use your location to give you better directions and weather. So if you like that, you can use it. If you don't want Microsoft to know your location, it's going to limit some of the functions when you use a weather forecast, but you can always just type in and find the weather that you need. So I'll just choose no. Uh, the next feature is um, you can s find my device, which is uh, pretty handy, but we'll just say no to this one as well. And then you want to send diagnostic data to Microsoft. It, you can either choose full or basic. You can't say no to this one, so we'll just go with basic one. And you can stop and read that as well if you want. So the next thing is improve inking and typing. So send inking and typing data to Microsoft, just say no. 
and usually you don't even use uh, like inking on the, unless you have a special pad to handwrite. So you can get tailored experience with di diagnostic data, just say no, go to the next step. So the advertising ID is basically telling you that you're gonna still get ads, but they're not gonna be as accurate and relevant to you, which I don't care. I'll just say yes, it will. you'll still get ads, but you'll get some kind of ads. So there you go, we're getting ready. All right, so there we go. Finally, we got uh, Windows completely installed and it's ready to go. So we had all we have all the settings, uh, the basic settings all set up. You're still gonna have to get a couple things done, but the good thing about this Windows 10 thing is that it automatically downloads and installs all the necessary drivers for all your hardware equipment and you don't have to do that for any of your devices which helps you a lot and it's gonna make it a lot easier so right now as you can see it's all set up and ready to go it's got the video card um, ready this message actually doesn't mean anything because it's uh, Nvidia control panel but uh, the graphic card driver is installed so this is a brand new fresh Windows um, next next step would be uh, getting a copy done for your windows like uh, get a Vin windows image created so that for in case you have to restart your computer or you have any uh, issues like you get a virus or you get a crash or something you can always uh, reinstall your windows within minutes I'm saying like it's gonna be like probably like five minutes or less to get it absolutely done and it's really good to do that when you just installed new fresh windows copy so you can get a windows image from these fresh windows and then like it's taken right now it took me about 25 minutes maybe 20 minutes to get windows installed but then if you get this image installed you can do it in five minutes and then another one you can after you get all the programs set up after you get all everything set up like you want it in the windows you can do another windows image and that will help you reinstall windows in like five minutes or less and you're gonna have uh, completely set up windows the way you like it in case something happens and it crashes or you get some kind of virus you know how sometimes it's gonna hard to get rid of the virus or somebody install some kind of uh, software on your computer that you can't find how to get rid of all you have to do is just reinstall your windows completely and it's gonna take you five minutes that will be in another video but for this video this is it guys this is how you get the windows installed it's all set up and ready to go um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel click that notification bell as well so you don't miss any other videos and see you in the next video